mean, he's not a bad guy, but just, you know, I mean, I mean, I would say he's almost the perfect stranger. I'm comedian Brody Steven. The Shadow Man is a mysterious and powerful entity who promises me that if I follow his instructions, he'll make me a big star in Hollywood. That's why we created... Who am I? Brody Stevens! Brody Stevens, it's the Shadow Man. I can tell. Are you ready? Ready, pen, and paper on placemat. Challenge one, share your pasta like you're in the movie Lady and the Tramp. Challenge two, have your guest name one celebrity he has been intimate with. Ooh, I like that. Challenge three, to make him say the word Pacoima. Do not dare to disappoint me, Brody, or there will be dire consequences. Every time he gets me with that dire consequences. Oh, hey, David. <laughs> Hi. Brody Stevens. How are you? Good to see you again. I didn't realize it was this uh... intimate. Yeah. There you go. Get comfortable. No, 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 no. That's not, there's no, that's not wine. It smells that's good. That's not porridge. No. It smells good. It smells like cinnamon. Yeah. I read on your bio you enjoy cinnamon. Oh, I enjoy the smell of cinnamon. So, wise. So, you know, David, I always why, get. A... Why are you yelling? Because I have bad hearing. Okay, I'm going to talk normal. Okay. Hi. Hi. That's How are you much doing? better. How do it's you better? Yeah, it's way better. You know, I always feel that way with you sometimes. I get maybe I don't get nervous, but I feel like uh, you're watching me mm -hmm. and you're smarter than me. Maybe there's a point to it. And on that note, <laughs> appetizers. Wow. Onion rings, potato skins, That's dig in. <laughs> the wrong use of the word appetizing. Dig in but... for this sampler dish. All right. A little greasy, a little hot. Do you need something? Do you need some ranch? Do you need salt? Do you need a bucket? I don't think he likes it. No, no. Well, there goes the chicken. Remind you of something. Yeah. What? Talk, talk that, to us. It reminds me of that piece. This is fun. You ever see Lady in the Tramp? What's that scene where they do that with sure, the spaghetti? When the moon hits your eye, I, I love you, Lady Tramp. I love you, Lady, lady Tramp. Tram. Go ahead. I'll, I'll, I can't reach it, but just well, do it reach like over. A, well, I just do it like, uh, yep. Lady, lady you're tram. my tramp, true. Well, you're my true tramp. Well, we tried. It would have, you know, could have been something interesting. Why did you fail me? In the South, when they're effeminate, it gets arched a little. Like a lot of guys, like the like um, Paula Deen's sons are so gay sounding. I don't know if you've seen that show where they go on the road and like, hey brother, we're gonna golly, look at that. I love, I love this whipped cream. It looks so good. It, it's a little, are you yelling? Was I yelling on that? No, he just did like a weird Fred Schneider gay, which isn't a, the well, he's gay from, I was He's doing. from the South though. Yeah, but. Check my David, not to change the subject. Yeah. Have you been intimate with a celebrity? Uh, yeah. Is it time to divulge who that may be? Well, uh, I'll go ahead and tell you right now. Okay. I jerked off last night. No, I'm not going to tell you who, who I fucked. I've been with a sibling of a celebrity. Have you really? Yeah. <laughs> who was it? Can you give a hint? I'll tell you. Who? Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> He was, oh, you, oh, his brother, Robert Downey Sr.? No, his sister. <laughs> oh, really? Is yeah. that for real? Yeah, don't say, I don't think she has internet, so it doesn't matter. Is she hot? She looked like him. All right, good but enough. with breasts and sideburns. That was mine. Okay, yours. Where are you going? I am taking off. David, what did I do wrong? David, what's that city next to Silmar? Silmar, Santa Clarita, Tuscanini. No, it's a funny word, because words matter. Northridge. Yeah. It's this way. That's funny. David. Yep. Dear Shadow Man, once again I have failed you. But a wise man once said, you can take the measure of a man by the way he adapts to failure. That man was John Wayne. Gacy. Funny guy and a great interviewer. I'll do better next time on the Brody Stevens interview. 
challenge. <laughs>